Hi again everyone, this is Dr. O, and in this video we're going to look at the muscles of the middle ear. Specifically, what are those two muscles and how are they innervated? So the first muscle is the tensor tympani muscle. We'll remember this one from the anterior wall of the middle ear. It projects from that anterior wall toward the malleus. So its attachments here proximally are on the pharyngotympanic tube cartilage as well as the greater wing of the sphenoid bone. Then it projects toward the manubrium of the malleus. So this will serve to dampen the vibrations of not only the malleus, but also the tympanic membrane. And it does so by pulling on the malleus to literally tense the tympanic membrane, given its name. The tensor tympani is innervated by the mandibular nerve, or V3, through the nerve to tensor tympani. We'll remember this branch from when we were looking at the trunk, or the main trunk of V3, we saw branches going off to tensor tympani, tensor villae palatini, medial pterygoid muscle, and sometimes this nerve will come directly off of that medial pterygoid nerve. Remember that these muscles all develop from the first pharyngeal arch, so that is why they're all innervated by branches of V3, which develops within that arch. The second muscle here is the stapedius muscle. Now, just as a point of reference, this muscle right here is tensor tympani. Then we see the malleus, the incus, and then the stapes here. Attached to the stapes is that stapedius muscle. Now we're really looking from lateral toward the medial wall. So this is posterior and this is more anterior. The stapedius muscle will project out within this pyramidal eminence coming from the posterior wall of the middle ear. Its tendon will course through that pyramidal eminence to then attach to the neck of the stapes. This will dampen the vibrations of the stapes, slowing down those oscillations forward toward the oval window. This is innervated by the nerve to stapedius which is a branch of the facial nerve. Now, stapedius is one of the muscles that develops in the second pharyngeal arch. So this muscle, along with all the other muscles innervated by facial nerve, develop together with the facial nerve in the second pharyngeal arch. In the case of a facial nerve palsy, also known as Bell's palsy, the nerve to stapedius can also be affected. And this would lead to lack of functioning of that stapedius muscle. Now this would pre present in someone as hyperacusis or being overly sensitive to sound because when things are loud, say you're at a, a rock concert in a year and a half, um, <laughs> and then in the first few minutes, you feel it. You feel it's a little bit painful, um, a little bit loud. But over time, you adapt and you aren't noticing it being as loud. And that, in part, is some of these muscles slowing down those oscillations and vibrations of the ossicles, both through the tensor tympani and the stapedius. So in someone with a stapedius muscle that's not functioning properly, sounds will sound louder and they'll be unable to compensate for you know, an extended loud noise, and it will continue to sound loud and feel painful. Now we're going to revisit an image we looked at previously, looking from medial toward the lateral wall of the middle ear, here being the tympanic membrane, the malleus being here, we can see kind of coming from that anterior portion is the tendon, of the tensor tympani muscle, which would run in this direction here, which attaches then to the malleus. So also from that anterior wall, we see this opening. And that opening there is the pharyngotympanic tube. Again, part of the anterior wall. Also running in this region, we see nicely the corda tympani nerve and the incus kind of coursing over that. 
we're going to take a look at this in the context of the bones. So the first thing I want you to note right here is this is the lesser wing of the sphenoid bone, superior orbital fissure, foramen rotundum. So as we rotate, this is kind of the view you get when you look into the middle cranial fossa. And this is the petrous part of the temporal bone. Now as we turn laterally, we can see the structures here of the tympanic membrane. Back behind here, this bony structure is the mastoid process, and then more anteriorly, we're seeing the lateral pterygoid plate. So here, you see the tympanic membrane, and we'll get a closer look now into the middle ear. Right away too, I want to note here, kind of running in this region is the tensor tympani muscle, and that is the pharyngotympanic tube cartilage. Now let's remove the tympanic membrane, go in a little bit closer. Now we can see even better here that tensor tympani muscle and the cartilage here. And then here is the malleus, so you can see where those where that attaches right along in there. The other thing to note in this view is right away you can see that pyramidal eminence coming from the posterior wall toward the neck of the stapes. So those are the two major muscles. In this view, we also see nicely where that oval window will sit. And this structure right here is the promontory. So you'll remember this from our first video. It is the projection of the first part of the cochlea into the middle ear. Also in the posterior aspect of this region, we can see this in purple is the lateral semicircular canal or the prominence of that lateral semicircular canal. Here is the facial nerve within the facial canal and then there is the pyramidal eminence. So you see those three together. And then this kind of coming out toward us, branching off and then coming toward us is the corded tympani nerve. And just as a note here is where the facial nerve continues on toward the stylomastoid foramen. All right, so let's test ourselves using this question here. So from which wall of the middle ear does the pyramidal eminence project? Is it from the anterior, the lateral, the medial, or the posterior wall? So pause so you can take a moment to choose your answer. And when you're ready, what are we looking at here? So first off, here is our tensor tympani muscle and the pharyngotympanic tube here. Well, remember those are the anterior wall. What about this region right here where we're seeing the oval window and the promontory? Those are the medial wall. So I'm going to cross those out because they are not the correct answer. Do you remember there was a structure here that was ghosted in the last video and that is our lateral wall. And that structure would be the tympanic membrane. So that leaves us with posterior as the correct answer. Now you'll remember posteriorly is right here, this wall along here. We see the pyramidal eminence, the facial canal, and the prominence of the lateral semicircular canal all from that posterior um, wall of the middle ear. All right, so hopefully those views make sense to you, but of course, as always, if you have any questions, Please feel free to ask, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next video.